Hey everybody, I'm Clint Arthur and it's my privilege to be an entrepreneur in the United States of America and I am grateful to have your attention and I'm going to deliver some powerful freaking information to you right now about being an entrepreneur in 2011. That's the year, 2011. Here we are in 2011 and I need the services of a licensed landscape architect. And you know, I only started to make this video because of all the calls that I've made today where nobody answered the phone. I got a voicemail over and over and over unless I got hung up on. Okay? I've been calling licensed I've been calling landscape places. I googled. Here's the Google search. Licensed landscape architect Los Angeles. There's the search right there. And these are the numbers that have been coming up. And I've been going down the list of numbers. I'm on page 3. I've called all these different numbers with my phone and I get voicemails over and over and over. So what do I do? I hang up on the voicemail because I need somebody now and I don't want 50 people calling me back on Monday when the job is already done saying, oh, we're returning your call about the job. Okay, those are the people who are going to be out of business. Okay, now if you want to be in business, then take this lesson to heart because this is the lesson that made me into a best-selling author put my book on number six on amazon.com why because I answered my freaking phone the phone rang at 7 54 p.m. on a Friday night uh, I'm sorry it was a Wednesday night and I answered the phone as I was driving to dinner with one of my uh, contractors I was taking him out to dinner for his birthday I see this weird number what the hell is this number I literally said who the hell is calling me from this weird number I answer the number and the lady goes hey Clint it's Lisa from the coast to coach show and I'm wondering if you'd like to go on tonight at 10 with George now for those of you who are not aware coast to coast is only the third largest syndicated radio show in the world they have like 400 affiliates around the country the next day my book was number six on amazon.com and it was only because I answered my phone. Now, I want to illustrate to you what I'm talking about here because I'm still trying to get a landscape designer to, to do the plan that is required by the city of Los Angeles to approve my plans on Tuesday. Okay, I, It's now Friday at 4.15 p.m. Hey, what are the business hours? Business hours are certainly 9 to 5, right? Okay, it's 4.15 on Friday. Let's see how many phone calls I need to make before some person gets a check and I'm not talking about $15 I'm talking about somebody's gonna make somewhere between 500 and 1500 bucks for a one-hour job because I need it now I have one bid so far one bid from one guy who answered his phone I've been calling all this time one person has answered his phone and he's given me a bid of 1500 bucks for a one-hour job okay Let's let's do some uh, further investigation here. We're going to move on to uh, Statis Landscape and Design Inc. Okay, let's call up Statis. See what Statis has to say. 310-836-3201. Let's see. I'm putting him on speaker. This is business in America. This is entrepreneurs in America. The state of entrepreneurship in America. It's ringing. Hello, this is the office of Richard L. Moss, Bob Green in LA. I'd like to help you with your landscaping needs. Oh, you Please would? Name, time, and number, you think and you're going to help me? Off. You're not going to help me, loser, because you didn't answer your freaking phone. I mean, really, it just comes down to, <laughs> do you think it's going to be hard for somebody to beat 1500 bucks for a one-hour job? I mean, a person who comes in with a bid of 1000 a 1000 is going to get this job. They just have to answer their phone, all right? Enclosures Architects. Let's see what they have to say. Here, let's see. How do you get around this? I mean, 
all these people. That was a guy's voice on the phone. What, he doesn't have a freaking cell phone? He's too important to have his phone calls go to his cell phone? I'm not. I just got a call today from some guy who used to work at one of my clients. I own a butter company. I supply portion control butter pieces. Enclosures Architects is not getting this job. I supply portion control butter pieces to large resorts, hotels, big steakhouses, right? Little pats of butter. This guy, Egan, calls me today. Hey, I used to work at Caesars. Now I'm running a, a, a casino in Indiana called the Horseshoe Casino, and I want to bring your product there. I answer my freaking phone and I get the jobs, okay? This is the state of entrepreneurship in America. Let's go to the next one, okay? This is the next one on the list that looks like it actually might be an architecture firm. Stenfors Associates Architects, Inc. This should be interesting one. They're going to have someone there. They're going to answer the phone and they're not going to be able to get me anyone who can give me a price. Watch this. Stenfors Architects. Hey, uh, my name is Clint. I'm a homeowner. I'm building a new home for my wife and myself. And we need a licensed landscape architect to stamp our plans and indicate that we're going to have uh, irrigation and aggressively growing vines on the two 10-foot retaining walls in the backyard. Could you guys do that job? Uh, we're, we're architects. Uh, we're, we're not landscape architects. You're not landscape architects. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. No. They come up as landscape architects, but they're not... But they're not, they're not landscape architects, okay? So let's just keep going down. Let's see what's here. Uh, SCA Lark, okay? Call them. All somebody's got to do is answer their phone. I need the job. I need this done by Monday afternoon. You reached the office of the CR. No one's available at the moment to take your call, but please leave a message. Okay, SCA Lark doesn't get the job. Famous Garden. I don't think they're landscape architects. I'm going to the next one on the list. Uh, DSK and Associates. I previously haven't called them because they sound like a big firm, but I'm just getting desperate to get this done. Let's see. Let's see what if they answer their phone. It's the state of entrepreneurship in America. Do you answer your phone? You're an entrepreneur. You're watching this video because you're an entrepreneur, right? Who's answering your phone? When people try to give you business, how do they get in touch with you? DSK and Associates, big firm, 3333 Wilshire Boulevard, number 103. Here I am trying to call them, 213-382-3133, up. Oh. Sorry, I misdialed their number, 213 Three eight two three one one three. All right. Let's see what's up with them. Who's answering your phone? I've already hung up on twenty answering machines. Bef That's why I, I made this video. I was just like, I can't even believe it. It's just ridiculous. People don't believe me when I tell them this shit. You think I'm the only person who hangs up on voicemails? You think I'm the only potential customer who hangs up on voicemails? No, you're not able to get to the phone and you're not going to be able to be in business for much longer because you just missed out on the easiest thousand dollars you guys ever could have made. I swear to God, you just blew it that fast because you wouldn't answer your goddamn phone. Here's another one. Let's go to John Pride Designs on Colorado Boulevard. 
Let's see how many. Aren't you curious how many phone calls I have to make before I can get an actual licensed landscape architect on the phone after searching Google? There it is. Licensed landscape architect Los Angeles. John Pride Designs. Too busy to make money, right? You think I'm only doing this because it's on video? I swear to God, people, I do this every single time I'm searching for something that I need now. If you don't answer my phone call, I hang up and I go to the next guy on the list because I am on this phone constantly all day long. And I cannot have my phone calls interrupted by people calling back to inquire about my call that I left him a message for. I don't play phone tag. I don't play that game. I'm a serious buyer, okay? I have cash, I have needs, I need somebody now. If you don't answer my phone, you don't get the job. Just like John Pride Designs didn't get that job. Thousand dollars for an hour job. Let's go to the next one on the list. This is SB Garden Design in Glendale Boulevard. Let's see what's up with them. It's 424. This is what buyers go Hi, through. This is SB Garden Design. Please leave a message at Another one who didn't get the job because they were too busy to answer their frickin' phone. Let's go to Patricia Smith. Smith Patricia. 323 Here we go. Now, do you think Smith Patricia is a sole proprietor who needs $1,000? I mean... You know, this is LA. <laughs> right? You heard, right? I mean, don't you think Smith Patricia should have like said hello? Let's try her back. It's a live person. She must have been freaked out because I was talking. See, I have a requirement to have this. You think I would pay this money if I didn't have Hello, to Hello, you have reached the office of Pat Smith. Please leave a message and I will return your call. Pat Smith doesn't get the job, right? I'm going to call her back again. No, I'm not going to call her back again. I'm not going to call her back again because Pat Smith is a loser, okay? We're going on to Patricia Benner, landscape design. She actually had me on the phone but hung up on me. This is what I'm saying. This is the um, third time I've, I've had a person on the phone and they told me they either hung up on me or told me they couldn't do the job because the owner wasn't there to give the price. I said, don't you think the owner would want you to get me their cell phone number so that they could get this job? Sorry, I can't give out that number. Who's answering your phone? We can't get the job email. right now. Let's go on to page six of Google. We're going on, making calls. Batoni Design Player, no. Laura Saltzman and Associates. That sounds promising, a person's name. You would think that a person would want to get this money. You would think that, right, like think about the real estate industry right now. How hard hit is this industry, right? Landscape designers. You think there's a lot of people hiring landscape designers right now? Do you? I'm like the only guy in Los Angeles trying to hire a landscape designer right now. I assure you that. Hello, and thanks for calling the Landscape Architectural Design Offices of Laura Saltzman and Associates. Not getting the job. Going on. <laughs> it's crazy. Rob Steiner, Inc. Let's see what's up with that. 323. Three, three. Nine three one four four two five. 
Aren't you curious how many calls we have to make before we get an actual landscape licensed architect on the phone who can get this thousand dollars like that? This is the state of entrepreneurship in America. Rob Steiner's not getting the job. Rob Steiner, landscape architect, is too important, too busy, too whatever to have his listing on Google ring on his freaking cell phone. He doesn't get his Mercedes paid for by me this month. Rob Steiner, landscape architect. I'm going on. I'm going on to, uh, let's see. Here's one. Bernstein Landscape Services. That doesn't sound like a a, a, a a licensed landscape architect. Bernstein Landscape Services. I'm going to call it. It's going to be a voicemail. Aren't you curious how many calls we have to make before an actual person? Oh, really? I must have missed dialed. 394-7118-213. Number's busy. What's up with that? Who's got a busy phone number? What, they don't have call waiting? Bernstein Landscape Services. I'm actually going to try a third time. They're going to get a th three strikes, you're out, right? Three strikes, you're out. They don't get the $1,000. Dwyer Lynn. Let's see what that says. It comes up under Landscape Architect, right? You're looking at the listing, right? Dwyer Lynn. Here's the search. Licensed Landscape Architect, Los Angeles. Hi, you've reached the offices of Lynn Dwyer, Landscape Architecture, and Blue Green. Please leave your name and your message. They're not the getting the job. They're too, they can't answer their phone. Let's go on to Robert Bozin, landscape architect. Am I searching in the wrong place? Is there some place other than Google that I'm supposed to be searching? It's 4.30 on a business day in the hardest hit industry in America. You'd think everybody would be hanging on their phone, waiting for it to ring. Thank you for calling Robert Bozen Landscape Design. We're not available right now, so... Please... No. And are you going to be in business next month? I don't know. Going on, United Design Associates. That doesn't sound like a landscape architect place, but it's on the list, so I'm going to call it. I'm just going down the list. I'm finishing up page six of Google's listings. Of six pages of listings, I've only got one bid, and it was for fifteen hundred bucks. Unable to answer the phone. You would think that if the, they were in the hardest hit industry, they would like answer their freaking phone, right? Next one, Fiori Design Development. Okay, how do you remedy this situation, entrepreneurs? Well, this is your business phone. This is the business phone. Hey, is this Fiori Design and Development? Excuse me? Is this Fiori Design and Development? No, I have no number. Sorry. Hello, this is Clint. Hi, Clint. This is Jeff Hyde. 
Hey, um, you were referred you? you were referred to me by John Walters. You're a licensed landscape architect? Yes, I have an architecture firm. Okay, very good. Here's my situation, Jeff. I am applying for a building permit and they are requiring me to have a licensed landscape architect create a quote unquote landscape plan for me, which specifies one thing that there is going to be aggressive climbing vines hiding my two retaining walls and that those vines will be irrigated. Can uh-huh. can you do that job? Yeah, um yes. I can I can draw up a plan for you and uh, and submit it. What what is it what city is this for? Los Angeles. Los Angeles? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, uh, so why don't I send you my plot plan? Oh perfect. Okay. And it indicates where the retaining walls are. And is it possible that the vines could grow down one wall and up the other? Um, what do you mean down? Well, there's two retaining walls. They're each 10 feet tall. And uh, I was planning on having some dirt in between them for the vines. So one one would be below the dirt and one would be above the dirt and I would like the vines to grow down the wall below them and up the wall above them. Is that possible? Oh, I see, I see. So what's the space in between, like 10 feet or 20 feet? No, it's like 6 feet. Oh, 6 feet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, great. So I'm going to send you these plans. What is your email address, Jeff? Okay, J E I T H at Integrad Ezine Integrades. Integrades with an S. Integrades I I G N service dot com, right? Integrads dot com. At integrads dot com. Just integrades, right? Perfect. Dot com. And could you give me an idea of what this job is gonna cost? Okay. And if that's, I mean, my gosh, if that's all that's entailed, I still need to, to submit it to the city, you still need all the, all their requirements that go on a plot plan, which if you have all that, then all I have to do is just copy and paste, which would be great. And, um, add some, add some vines if that's all they want. Yeah. Um, yeah, not a problem. Do you already have existing irrigation? Uh, no, I don't. You just, but you'll see these these retaining walls are right next to the pool. Okay. So there's going to be a water, you know, spigot there to fill the pool. So we can uh, well, e- so we can easily. No, gonna, that, that won't work. But if you have if you have um, an irrigation valve somewhere, then I can tie into that. Yeah, that's what or I'm I saying. Have, that's or what I have I'm. To spec one out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We will. Um, we will have a spigot there for the pool, and you can put an irrigation valve right there. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay? Yeah, beautiful. All right, awesome. So it's J-E-I-T-H at I-N-T-E-G-R-A-D-E-S dot com. No, forget the E in Integrads. It's just D-S. Okay, Integrads dot com. Yeah. All right, cool. It, the file is called Franklin. You're getting the three pages of the architectural set of plans. And uh, I'm, I'm sitting here waiting to assign this job. So call me back when you're ready to give me a proposal or email it back to me, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I need to have this job. Um, I want to have these pages in my hands with your stamp on it on uh, Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Tuesday morning that only gives me Monday um, well you take a look at it and see if you can do it I mean okay. really it shouldn't take more than an hour to knock this out oh okay okay
All right, cool. Call me Thanks back. Me. Call me back. All right, man. All right, it's in your email right now. Okay, perfect. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, all right. Bye, Jeff. Bye-bye. <laughs> People shoot themselves in the foot. Oh, I don't know if I could do that before Monday. Oh, really? You don't have an hour this weekend to get a grand? I don't know. He sounded like he might only charge me 500 bucks. I don't know. We'll see. I'm keeping going down the list because I still only have one bid for $1,000. And uh, I don't want that one. Steve Shea Landscape Design. Let's try him. The state of entrepreneurship in America. I mean, landscape designers, landscape architect, that's entrepreneurial. Four thirty eight PM. Oh, it's Thanks. just Steve. Oh, d Steve can't even be bothered to say you've reached Steve Shea Landscape Design. He's just Steve. Oh, okay. Steve, you don't get the job either. Going down the list. DRC Custom Swimming Pools and Landscaping, not good enough. Gr Gary's Greenery, doesn't sound like a lands landscape architect. Paul F. Yount Landscape Design. Possibly. Am I supposed to be searching somewhere else besides Google? Really? Really? You, you really think so? I've already called all the numbers on pages one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm on page seven right now, trying to get somebody on the phone. Only one person from this Google listing has answered their phone and actually given me a bid. And it's 1500 bucks. Too much. I got money to spend. I want to spend between 500 and 1000 Paul F. Yount, Landscape Design. Three two three six six four six eight nine two. That's the number I dialed. Just rings and rings and rings. Here's a call came in while we were on the phone. Oh, this is really funny. Listen to this. This is really freaking funny. Listen to this. God, why is this doing this? Hey, uh, this is Steve. I just missed your call. Uh, give me a call back. Bye. Does that sound professional to you? Did anything about Steve sound professional? I'm going to call him back. Maybe he's a licensed landscape architect. I doubt it. This is the state of entrepreneurship in America. Hello? Hey, is this Steve? Yep. Are you a licensed landscape architect? <laughs> I'm a landscape designer. And uh, who is this? Uh, my name is Clint Arthur. I'm looking for a licensed landscape architect to hire right now. Okay. Um, I'm a landscape contractor and a landscape designer, so I'm not a landscape architect. Okay, I only called you because you came up on the um, Google results for Licensed Landscape Architect Los Angeles. So, sorry to bother you, Steve. Have a good weekend. You too, thanks. Thanks. All right, let's go to uh, Paul L Richard Lusk Landscape Design. This one sounds like an actual firm. Could be promising. It's not in my city, but they can FedEx me the plans. They're in California. Calls recorded for quality. Wow. 949-242-0649. Good afternoon. 
Hey Richard, I'm looking for a licensed landscape architect to stamp a set of plans for me for the city of Los Angeles. Are you a licensed landscape architect? No, but we work with one, so I have one on staff. You have one on staff. Who did the plans? Okay, so this is what I need, okay? I need to provide you... What? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay. All right, I'm going to provide you with my plot plan. And I need you to indicate that there will be aggressive growing vines between the two 10-foot tall retaining walls so that they'll be covered and that there will be... Irri- First of all, do, do, I know, do I know you? No, you don't. Do we work for you or do we, how, do, how do we know each other? Uh, I found you on page 7 of Google results for Licensed Landscaped Architect Los Angeles. Okay. Well, we have one on staff, but we only stamp the plans that we do ourselves. Okay. So this is what my plans need. I have two ten-foot-tall retaining walls in my backyard. They are required yes. to they are required to be covered by aggressive growing vines and to have irrigation for those vines. And I need a set of plans that indicate that. And you can. And you can indicate that there's aggressive growing vines on your walls? No, no. I'm going to build this house, okay? Right now it's a right. dirt lot. And in the backyard of this future house, there's going to be two retaining walls. And because they're 10 feet tall each, they need to be covered by aggressive growing vines. Got it. Okay, so I need a licensed landscape architect to create, quote unquote, a landscape plan that's going to address this requirement. That's all I need. And in addition to other requirements or only that requirement? That is the only requirement that I need to fulfill by Tuesday morning. By Tuesday morning? Yes. Okay, and where is your house located or where is the lot located where you're eventually going to build a house? In the city of Los Angeles. Okay, why don't you send me an email with all the particulars and I'll get back to you on Monday morning. Okay. I'll do that. What? It's Richard at RichardLogic.com. Okay. And you have any idea what this might cost? Um, I'd have to take a look at it. We have, you know, five people all over the place in Los Angeles here right now. Um, you know, I don't know. I'd have to take a look at it, and then I can give you a price. Right. Okay. All right, I'll send it over. Richard at Richard Lusk. Com. Yeah, give me all your uh, contact information. Give me a link to uh, the lot on Google, or just give me the address to the extent that there is one. I, I don't really think. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really think that you um, have are hearing my needs. No, you're saying you need to get some, somebody to say that there's aggressive growing vines on an existing wall in order to get a permit for your house, right? No, no. I'm going to, I have plans right now and I have a dirt lot and part of my be, my plan to build this house includes two 10 foot tall retaining walls in the backyard. Because those walls are 10 feet tall, the city requires them to be covered in aggressive growing vines. And I need, I need a landscape architect to indicate on my plot plan, they're going to, they're going to take my plot plan and they're going to put the word landscape plan on the top of that and they're going to say to be planted with aggressive growing vines and stipulate some some breed of vine and then indicate that there must be uh, a drip system to irrigate those vines or some irrigation system that's what i need okay cool send it to me we'll take a look at it and then i'll let you know I mean, we're really a design build company. We build, you know, landscape projects all over from Malibu all the way to San Diego. Right. We do, you know, typically very large projects. It's probably a little small for us, but yeah, you know, we'll take a look at it. Okay. And you think you could turn it around by Tuesday morning? Uh, I think so. You know, it's something that we'll do. We probably can have it to you by Tuesday morning. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Richard. Thank you very much. I have my, uh, no, yeah. Richard yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, bye. Bye. 
Okay, so uh, you've been listening to these calls. Do you think I'm going to send that guy an email? Do you think I'm going to waste anybody's time with that? I don't need somebody to decide on Monday if they're going to do this job for me. The job's already going to be done on Monday. This guy doesn't want this job. This is the state of entrepreneurship in America. This is like he's got people on staff, right? What does he pay an architect on staff? 50 bucks an hour, maybe, maybe. But So what would he charge me for this? thousand dollars minimum right he's he's like too cool too busy to like get this job this is the state of entrepreneurship in america let's go on oh god page eight uh hunter landscaping nope this one, Lankin Design Inc. That guy, Richard Lusk, actually had the customer on the phone but couldn't close the deal. Is that excusable? I don't think that's excusable. I have a customer on the phone. I'm going to either get a yes or no. You've reached the offices of Lankin Design. Please leave a message we'll get back to as soon as we can. No, absolutely not. Absolute Custom Landscape Company. Design Company. They're not. Corn Randolph. That sounds like a person. 626-564-0259. I'm telling you, the first guy who says, okay, Clint, it's $1,000, gets the job. Corn Randolph. Are you guys licensed landscape architects? Excellent. I have a job for uh, somebody. Can you give me somebody on the phone who could give me a price? Um, well, we, I'm the owner. Oh, excellent. What is your name? Amy Korn. Hi, Amy. My name is Clint Arthur. I am a homeowner, and I'm developing a new home for my wife and myself. Okay. And we're in plan check right now. And part of our situation is that we have two retaining walls in the backyard. And those are 10 foot tall retaining walls. And in the city of Los Angeles, you're required to put aggressive growing vines on those retaining walls and to irrigate those vines. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm looking for is a landscape architect that I can send my plot plan to. And you can take that plot plan and superimpose the title landscape plan onto it and indicate on that plan that there will be a specific species of aggressive growing vines planted to cover those two 10 foot tall retaining walls and that they will be irrigated. Okay. Um, I would have you talk to my partner Matt about that because he, we're, but we both work under the same license. I'm the designer. doesn't sound like you need design services. You need um, knowledge of ordinance and making the correct notes and possibly putting a stamp on it. Yes. Um, they're probably going to want to see an irrigation plan and a planting plan, which means vines and um, a valve and irrigation heads to plant pockets or something. It's, yes. Um, not just a note that it'll be irrigated. They usually want to see an irrigation plan. Okay. And a planting plan, even if it's just for those couple of items. But he would be the one to do that for you. Okay. His name is Matt. And I'm going to give you um, the email address and about, let him know that it's coming. How about a cell phone? Um, I can give you a cell phone. It's 626-298-4150. But I know he's going to need to see a plan most likely. But sure, um, you okay. can give him a call if you want the email. All right. Matt, M-A-T-T, -T, at Corn Randolph. That's K O R N. R A N D O L P H dot com. Okay. Yeah. And mine is Amy at Corn Randolph. I'm Amy Corn, that's Matt Randolph. So it's a combination of our last name. I want to congratulate you on actually answering your phone. You know, you're on page um, eight of Google results for Licensed Landscape Architect Los Angeles. Oh, wow. And you're only one of like five firms that actually answered the phone. Oh, well, I guess 
it is 4.48. We're smoking, you know, literally I was walking upstairs. We have a studio above our studio in Pasadena. Uh-huh. So uh, <laughs> I heard the phone ring as I was walking out. I'm like, I'm going back in to get that. There so, you go. You know, we're usually here. It's just end of the day, so I'm glad that you got in touch with us, and um, Matt is actually picking up our daughter, so he's kind of en route from school. So, um, so you're a nice little entrepreneurial family-owned business. We are. We've hung in there for nine years. So. Well, you know, the industry's kind of hard hit these days, wouldn't you say? It is. We, um, you know, we, we work on residential, but we also do, we worked on the Standard in downtown LA, and we did the Getty Villa in Malibu. Mm-hmm. So we usually have like a huge project cooking, and we don't, we haven't for a few months. So um, we've been interviewed for a few, and we're hoping for that, but we're still working on our mixed use and um, you know, whatever comes our way. So. Yeah. So yeah, it sounds like you understand the requirements of my job. Oh, yeah. And he's uh, Matt is the one who really knows the ordinances pretty much in and out. I'm the, you know, I'm the designer, and I know that that's important, but I kind of leave that in his court. Yeah. You know, that and irrigation and all, all of the technologies. Yep. So, um, yeah, but he does know his stuff in that respect. And All right. What, do you have any idea how much a job like this might cost, Amy? Well, if you're just if you're only talking about irrigation and some some planting notes, the best vine for you you're going to want if it's a CMU block, ten foot retaining wall, or some kind of block wall. It'll be a poured um, wall. It'll be a poured wall. It'll be a what? Poured. Oh, wall. cast in place. Yeah. Well, that's nice. I don't know if it'll be board form or if it's just straight straight concrete with snap ties, cast in place kind of thing. But um, if you need to do a self clinging vine, there are only there's one like Boston Ivy, but that goes deciduous. So you get great color, but you don't get color year round. And then there's Ficus pumula, creeping fig, which um, takes a long time to get there because you plant it in one gallons for four ninety nine. I mean, you can get them anywhere. Yep. You have to start them small because they won't cling unless they're growing and clinging. You can't tie it up. Um, there's numerous kind of vines, but that's the one that would go green, look green year round, and it's inexpensive. It just takes a little while, but it'll meet the requirement, you know? Th- yep, that's what I'm trying um, to do. And it, installation wise, I, I mean, it sounds like if you're doing a new home, you're going to need a landscape um, at some point. But um, just for that kind of installation, it's like one valve, which is about $1,200 to do. Um, lateral lines from a valve with a cu- couple of bubblers and then the plant so it's very small in the grand scheme of things to building a new home in terms of matt doing the plans for you yeah um probably less than a thousand dollars like 750 but that's just a guess uh-huh. it depends what kind of plans you have but it's the time it takes to do it yeah you know? maybe it's less than that i don't know but um all right and if he needs to stamp it um, it, it may be another five hundred dollars because then, then we're liable, you know. Yeah. But um, but you know, it's not much. Uh, I don't know if that sounds like a lot to you or a little. When you're designing a new home, I'm sure there's tons of expenses. We, well, we we've been there too. So. Yep. Um. All right. Uh, well, so, listen. I'm gonna call Matt and okay. see if we can get you guys this job because I like you, and. Uh, uh, oh, my my final question is on those on those vines you were talking about the figs. Uh, yeah. I was thinking I would like to have the dirt in between the two walls, and so the vines would be growing down the lower wall and up the oh. upper wall. Would that work? Um, they're going to want to see something growing up. You can do a combination of the two. Typically, at the back of a block wall, you're going to have a drainage course, and the inexpensive way to go is a V ditch, which those are unattractive. So then you'd be trying to get vines to grow over that. I don't know if you did some kind of a perforated pipe that's underneath or if you have weep holes. I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure what this the It's going to be a V. Are. It's going to be a V ditch. You're right. Yeah, see, you can't really you're going to you're going to want to keep your V ditch for drainage. Even though I love the look of espalier plants, or I mean um cantilever plants or draping plants, which is my favorite thing. Yep. Um you're going to need to keep that that course clean, so it may not be the best route. But doing uh, wonderful plantings in between the the layered walls would be nice. But but I'm yeah, going to need to leave holes to plant those vines along my walkway along the pool at the base of that lower wall. Correct. Yeah. How much distance is 
it from the face of coping to the retaining wall? Uh, How many feet? Four feet? Five feet? Yeah, it's indicated something like that. Yeah, if you can do a continuous strip, the, the challenge is when you have one type of paving go right up against a block, or a cast wall, you've got two hardscapes meeting each other. Um, if you can, if you've got the room, and it's not going to be a place that you're going to put furniture anyway because you don't have the width, if it's only to navigate uh, yep, it the is. entry in around the pool, yep. I would try to leave a little one foot, a nice little one foot, a minimum of a foot. Yep. And then do something lovely at the edge that kind of gives you a green, and then you get the, the vines every 12 feet or so, or every 10 feet, you get a vine growing up, but you still have a nice little clean edge yep. of planting. Okay, that sounds great. Let me give Matt a call, and we let me give Matt a call and see if we can wrap this up for you guys. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much, Amy. You rock. Right, You're you. awesome. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Let's see if Matt answers his phone. I have a feeling he might. I mean, she gave me his cell phone. I'm telling you, first people at a thousand. I, I like these people in the first place more than the other guy. He's just trying to rip, rook me for fifteen hundred bucks. State of entrepreneurship. They have a studio above their studio. Hi, you've reached the uh, cell phone of Matthew Randolph. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Oh, Matt. Hey, Matt, I just had a great conversation with your wife, Amy, about my landscape plan. Would you please call me back when you get the message? I need to assign this job. My number is 310-415-0450, 310-415-0450. Thank you. All right, look, I'm going to end this video here. I think you get the point, all right? I'm, I'm going to try to make it happen with Matt and Amy because I like Amy. And uh, it sounds like they're going to be less than 1500 bucks. And they're local. They're in Pasadena. I could just drive over there and get it where this other guy is down in Orange County. And really, at 1500 he's ripping me off. And they're going to be cheaper. So uh, that's the deal. She answered her damn phone because she actually lives above the store. That's entrepreneurship in America. The phone was ringing. The industry's hard hit. She said, I'm going to go answer that phone and she got herself a job at 4.45 in the afternoon, presuming that they're not going to be more expensive than Don. Bottom line, people, answer your freaking phone. You want to be a successful entrepreneur? I cannot tell you how many times this phone has rung on a Saturday night at 11.30 and a client needed information or an order. I cannot tell you how many clients have said, Clint, you're amazing. No matter when I call you, you answer the phone. If it rings, I answer the phone. If people are calling my business, here's my business card. Here's my business card. This number right here rings right here. Here's my old business card. This is from like five years ago. Same number. Same number rings right here. I dominate my little my, my little niche in the industry. Okay? I lead a lifestyle that most people would envy. And I attribute so much of it to answering my phone. I'm a best-selling author because I answered my phone one night on my way to dinner at 7:54 p.m. Hey, you want to learn more information like this? Enter your name and email address in the boxes on the right. Okay? This is the second of three training videos on entrepreneurship. I'm, I stand for freedom, power, and adventure of entrepreneurship. And if you want in on that, if you want in on that training, enter your name and email address in the box on the right. You'll get three free videos in this little series. And I'm going to be posting additional videos one a month indefinitely. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. I'm Clint Arthur, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh, and by the way, leave a comment. Leave a comment. Don't say I'm a jerk, okay? Don't say you think I act like a jerk. I'm just trying to illustrate a point here. I'm a customer 
with money to spend. All right, leave a comment and thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video.